Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In 1963, the United States Air Force embarked on a quest for a jet-powered successor to the turboprop-driven C-133 Cargo Master, which was nearing the end of its operational life. This search led to an extensive evaluation of numerous large logistic transport designs. The construction of the first C-5A Galaxy prototype commenced in August 1966 marking a pivotal moment in military aviation history. This groundbreaking aircraft, designated number 668303, made its grand debut on March 2, 1968. The C-5 Galaxy's design revolutionized cargo transport capabilities. I think the C-5 has always been known as a heavy lifter. Uh, we carry space container modified missions, so satellite and outsized cargo, carrying heavy helicopters. Um, we've always been known for doing that, and I think the C-5M coming around in the last few years has really solidified us as that heavy lifter to the warfighter. Its expansive cargo compartment, equipped with an upward hinging visor at the nose and large clamshell doors at the rear, facilitates seamless drive-through loading and unloading of various vehicles using full-width ramps at both ends. Including internal winches and a roller conveyor system transforms the loading process, making it efficient and adaptable. Remarkably, the cargo floor of the C-5, spanning 121 feet, a foot longer than the Wright brothers' first flight, offers an immense 35,000 cubic feet of space. Pressurized and climate controlled for diverse operational needs. This extraordinary capacity Quintuple that of the C-141A Starlifter underscores the C-5 Galaxy's role as a logistical behemoth. Albeit typically reserved for cargo, with passenger transport relegated to emergency operations or special missions as authorized by Headquarters AMC. The C-5 Galaxy's remarkable takeoff capabilities can be largely attributed to its advanced engineering. Specifically, its commercial engines, long-swept wings, and distinctive T-tail design. Powering this colossal aircraft are four General Electric TF-39 GE-1C turbofan engines, each generating a formidable 41,000 pounds of thrust. These engines are not only powerful, but also impressively large. The C-5's T-tail is a key component in enhancing its aerodynamic efficiency. This design increases the effectiveness of the vertical tail through an end plate effect. Where the horizontal stabilizer functions akin to a winglet. This not only reduces the induced drag of the rudder, but also contributes to a more streamlined, efficient flight profile. Beyond its impressive engines and aerodynamic design, the C-5 Galaxy boasts other remarkable features crucial to its heavy airlift capability. With a staggering length of 222 feet and 9 inches, 
and a maximum takeoff weight of a colossal 840,000 pounds. The C-5 stands as a testament to engineering marvels and military aviation. An integral part of its design is the innovative use of reverse thrust. Not only aiding in efficient braking during landing, but also allowing the aircraft to maneuver backward on the ground. A rare capability for an aircraft of its size. The landing gear system of the C-5 Galaxy is a feat in itself. It consists of a single nose strut, four main bogies, and a total of 28 wheels. This intricate system is designed for high flotation capability. It also features freewheel castering for easier ground movement and an offset swiveling capability of 20 degrees to either side, essential for crosswind landings. Additionally, the landing gear can be individually raised, simplifying tire changes and brake maintenance. Remarkably versatile, the C-5 can take off or land in nearly any location worldwide. Enhancing its logistical flexibility, the C-5's landing gear includes a three-position kneeling system. This unique feature allows the cargo floor to be lowered to truck bed height, facilitating the loading of outsized or long wheel-based equipment by reducing the ramp angle in critical areas. Galaxy's technological prowess extends beyond its physical design to incorporate advanced systems for monitoring and navigation. One of the key components in ensuring its operational integrity is the Malfunction Detection Analysis and Recording System, or MADAR. This sophisticated automatic troubleshooting system vigilantly monitors over 800 test points across the aircraft's various subsystems. In terms of navigation and communication, the C-5 Galaxy is equipped with state-of-the-art avionics. The aircraft features a triple inertial navigation system, or INS, greatly enhancing its self-sufficiency and operational independence. This system allows the C-5 to perform effectively without relying on ground-based navigational aids. Another remarkable aspect of the C-5 Galaxy is its impressive short takeoff and landing capabilities, even when fully loaded. The aircraft, demonstrating exceptional agility for its size, requires only 8,300 feet for takeoff and 4,900 feet for landing when at its maximum weight of 840,000 pounds. The C-5A Galaxy can theoretically remain airborne indefinitely limited only by crew endurance. This ability is a strategic game changer, allowing the aircraft to cover vast distances without the need for landing to refuel.
To address the limitations of crew fatigue, long flights often include relief crews, ensuring continuous and efficient operation. The combination of these features, short takeoff and landing distances, along with the capacity for aerial refueling, cements the C-5 Galaxy's status as a logistical powerhouse. Capable of delivering cargo and support across the globe without the constraints of traditional refueling stops. In the realm of large, strategic airlift aircraft, the C-5 Galaxy finds a notable counterpart in the Antonov AN-124 Ruslan. The Antonov AN-124 Ruslan stands as a close counterpart to the C-5 Galaxy in the world of large, strategic airlift aircraft. sharing several external features with the C-5, including a rear cargo door and a similar layout of flight control surfaces. The AN-124 slightly differs with a shorter fuselage and a greater wingspan. This allows it to carry a larger payload than the C-5. Notably, the AN-124 diverges with its conventional empennage, contrasting the C-5's T-tail and employs a hybrid fly-by-wire control system. Combining electronic and mechanical controls for enhanced redundancy and reliability, both aircraft exemplify advanced engineering in the realm of heavy airlift capabilities. Another aircraft that stands out in the realm of specialized heavy airlift is the Super Guppy. This unique plane emerged directly from the fuselage of a C-97J turbo stratocruiser, the military variant of the 1950s Boeing 377 stratocruiser. The Super Guppy features an extended fuselage, reaching a length of 141 feet and an impressively enlarged diameter of 25 feet. The cargo compartment itself measures a substantial 94 feet and 6 inches in length. However, the width of the cargo floor remains at 8 feet and 9 inches, a dimension dictated by the original Stratocruiser design. This aircraft showcases a remarkable adaptation of an existing design to meet specific cargo transportation needs. Further illustrating the diversity and innovation in aircraft design for specialized purposes. Similar in concept to the Super Guppy, the Airbus A300-600ST, commonly known as the Beluga, represents another innovative approach in the realm of specialized transport aircraft. Designed as a wide-body airliner, the Beluga primarily aims to transport aircraft parts and oversized cargo. Initially referred to as the Super Transporter, the aircraft soon earned its nickname Beluga, owing to its striking resemblance to the Beluga whale. But the Beluga XL beats it in terms of cargo space and operational aircraft. Beluga XL 
can carry a load of 111, 333 pounds inside its 78,000 cubic feet cargo hold. What also makes the Beluga XL special is its capable 2,600 mile range. As we conclude our exploration of the remarkable world of heavy lift aircraft, it's clear that each model represents a pinnacle of aviation engineering. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.